Blaskowitz. Got a heads up for you. Looking at the engineering map, there seems to be a defense system guarding the nuclear warhead stockpile. I count one, three, four, five, hibernation sarcophagi in the vicinity. Be ready for anything. Brace out. So here's what I'll do. I'll keep away from her. Let nothing show, Caroline. This dying is making me a liar.
the nuclear warhead. Tip top. Bring it to the old man. Set was it? I briefed him on the particulars. Careful, Shimshin, it's not a Sats cam. It, you, you okay? Well, let me look at you. You're a little pale. You nausea? Any uh, fever? I'm fine. Never better. Never better. Well, I need to take care of this. You need to rest. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Well, do me a favor. Before you die, go to Grace. She's at the helm. You know, Caroline's old room. Oh, Shimshin. You should really take it easy, Ingele. Pleased to see you, Captain. These new people, Capitan, I don't trust them. But then, I never trust people. Kicking has gotten stronger since you woke up, William. I think they're excited to meet you. been avoiding me. What's wrong? Talk to me. Look at me, Anya. I'm the damn tin man. How am I gonna get close to you? I don't care. We'll figure something out. We always do. Huh? Hey, why, why won't you at least try? I'm fucking dying. The longer we keep pretending it won't happen, the harder it's gonna be. I'll be in the ground a week from now. You don't know that! What, you can see the future now? Don't act like you know things you can't possibly know! Well, the toilet works. Are you still here? You need to haul ass back to mission control and get all your ducks in a row. Mm. Now, the Haas 2 helicopter is spinning up in the hangar, and it'll get you as far as Galveston, but from there, baby, you're gonna have to improvise. Dynamite, boss. Blazkowicz, head on up to the hangar and make sure that Haas 1 is mission ready, all right? Fucked 
up and told her. Turns out, the herd I tried to spare was mine, not hers. Holding on to it. Yeah, but on the upside, there's no radiation, no Nazis, hidden from the world. Like, we're safer than we've been in life. I know, I'm being irrational. Right. Well, let's see if this bird is ready to fly like Grace asked me to. Put everything else out of your mind. Looks like I need more power. Chopper's fat and sassy. Hello, Should let Grace know. Okay, sister. Okay, I'm okay. The main man. This is no good. What's going on? Oh, shit. Here he comes. What are you sure you looking at? Uh, Christ's sake! Where wasn't anyone watching him? Uh, Fargus, everyone is busy. No time for babysitting. Well, lock him up with a pig, then. What's the problem? Mentors! <laughs> Our favorite shirt. Fuck, Max! <laughs> Fergus, it's only a shirt. No, it's not just a fucking shirt. I got this shirt at Kinloss. Only one I have. All right, y'all. Drop whatever the fuck you're doing. Because we got some hell to raise. Hey, Englishman. You got nukes on this ship. Did you know that? Oh, is that why it only took one of them to level Death's Head's entire fucking compound? You figured that out, oh great genius. Oh, so you knew. Yet you only used the one. Explain that blip to me, shit for brains, because you are stupid for real. Fuck's sakes, you can't bloody well just go around dropping bombs on random civilians, you dim-witted bambon. Oh, eat me, cocksucker. I'm not saying we chunk nukes at a bunch of cities all willy-nilly, pencil dick. Do I look like a fucking Nazi to you? No, 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 no. I would say you most resemble a skitterdrukit cunt rag, emitting a heinous honking similar to that of a shite spoon volcano, affronting the senses of full force. Well, at least my face isn't a dead ringer for a massive prolapsed rectum. I want to blow a gut just looking at your bleary-eyed jive ass. You know what I'm saying? The reason we haven't used one of the other atom bombs, which would be obvious to anyone who isn't profoundly idiotic, is we need a proper target first. Well, I'm here to say that I got a proper target. And it's a fucking good one, too. So sit your clown ass down, you dumb fuck Scottish motherfucker. especially ahead to his hometown of Roswell, New Mexico, to prep for the mission. Now, there's a tunnel that's accessible through Specie's hideout that will take you straight into the Nazis' top-secret underground base, where they're experimenting with some sort of wigged-out alien technology. Roswell, New Mexico, you said? 
This is one of ours. What do you mean? One of yours? Yeah. Wouldn't you like to know? So you can send coded messages back to your pals in Berlin? No! What the fuck is she even doing here? Grace, why? She's good people. She's a fucking Nazi. On your boat. What are you saying, Pops? Hmm? Hmm. That secret base you were talking about was constructed by us. That's you. One of our biggest safe keeps. Yeah, it was located here, underground, near what is now Roswell, New Mexico, but it, I mean, it existed for a thousand years, long before America got subjugated by the Europeans. It contained technology related to anti-gravity research, something that could easily turn the tide of war. We gave the U.S. government access to it. Unfortunately, it was too late. America fell. The Nazis took hold of our safekeeping. Shit, that's not gonna sit well with Speci. He had his bet on space aliens. He once saw a ship that crashed back there in 47. So what do you want with this place? You know what the Oberkommando is? Hey, that's where the top brass clock tails of the Nazi war machine reside. Yeah, well, the Nazis moved it into your safe keep set. So whatever it is is so important that the whole upper echelon of the Nazi leadership left Berlin and set up shop in New Mexico. And this is why you need this for? That. This is a portable nuclear bomb. We're gonna take out the Oberkommando, cripple the Nazi leadership, and destabilize the fucking country and let the people know that the fight is back on. Blazkowicz, load up. I'm sending you to Roswell with this. Roswell is out of helicopter range, so we'll drop you off by the coast near Galveston. From there, you will catch a ride to Roswell. Rendezvous with Super Special at Papa Joe's All-American Diner and plant the nuke inside the very heart of the Ober Command. Then, you blow that shit the fuck up. Okay, Blaskowitz, look for Papa Joe's All-American Diner. Meet Super Special inside the restaurant. Do not break cover. Concert tonight? Oh, Jeff here is. He's a, a big fan of DK Frank's Jeff. Well, the music makes me happy. You trump that, Wayne. Nothing wrong with that, Jeff. I like your style, Americans. Very good. You're part of the Reich now. Subject of the Great Führer. I hope for your sake you consider the Reich and all its glorious people your own. Yes, of course, mm -hmm. sir. Let me give you some free advice. You are witnessing a new dawn for America. You have a choice in this new world. Because the time will come when, how do you say, the wheat detaches from the chaff. Have you taken your German lessons? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. You, how do you say thank you in German? Oh, of course, sir. Let me see. It's, um... Yes. Dank. Dank. Yes, out with it. Dank. Dank. <laughs> My God. <laughs> was that all right? No, that was terrible. You're butchering my beautiful language. It's Danke schön, verdammt. Say it. Uh, Danke schön? Incorrect. Danke schön. Danke schön? I've heard enough. No more. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm still practicing. You will practice hard. Oh, I will, sir. I am so sorry. an deinem Gewehrkolben gesehen. Ein beeindruckendes Ergebnis. Hey, Miss, I buy a newspaper? I got today's news for you right here, mister. Only one Reichsmark. Say, mister, you look familiar to me. Are you some kind of celebrity? Mister, you... God, if you are who I think you are, I just want you to know...
lots of cultures in this country call me that Na Naitner? Did I pronounce that right? You really must correct me if I didn't. Oh, just a bit of tactics, Mother Letter. You will pass the test on change over day with the highest numbers. I just couldn't stand all that primitive jungle music they used to play. Jazz and rock and roll. White Ger Gershreklich, <laughs> like you would say, right? Yes, good, Fräulein Anna. But you know, I see great potential in you. Your attitude is impeccable. <laughs> you flatter me, Captain. My lady deserving of flattery, Fräulein Anna. Oh, stop. But I wonder one thing, Captain. Tell me. Why do you tolerate that awful band, the Capper? Those boys are Englishmen pretending to be German. I even stopped listening to Mozart when I heard he's not German at all, but some kind of impure Austrian. Now, Beethoven, <laughs> that is... Fräulein Ed, may I remind you that the Führer himself is Austrian by birth? And so is my grandmother. Oh, oh, oh I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to... To insult the Führer, Hans. It is outrageous. I really didn't mean to... Be quiet, Fräulein. Your name will be called to my superiors. Oh, please, no! Be careful, Monica, from now on. Do not step out of line again, or you will face grave consequences. Do you understand? Yes, sir, I... Quiet! on a date yet, but soon. You're invited, of course, Auntie. Oh, that's nice, dear. Give my regards to your father when you return to the farm. Oh, and tell him I'm putting some hardworking slaves up for auction this week if he's interested. There'll be cocktails. I'll tell him, Auntie. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Bye-bye, dear. Uh, it would be great if it could be fast, so I'm in a bit of a hurry. Certainly. 